The biggest thing that people want to know is, can I play songs on the lyre? And of course the answer is yes, and if you are looking for something with a simple 145 or 1456 minor, then it there are two different ways to play it on the lyre, and so we will go through this today. So the most common chord progression that has been used over the years um, back to the 60s and 50s and everything is a 1-4-5 chord progression. What this means is the 1 is whatever your tonic is, whatever the first note of your chord. So if my, if my song was being played in G major, the G major would be the first note or the first chord of my chord progression. And to figure out what your four and your five are, you simply count it. G, A, B, C. C would be your four. G, A, B, C, D. D would be your five. And if you wanted your six, your minor six, you would do G, A, B, C, D, E minor. So that is how you figure out your chord progression. And so if you've heard about the one, four, five, or the one, four, five, six minor, minor six, then that is what they are talking about. It's not really as difficult as people sometimes think it is. And sometimes they'll talk about the Nashville chord um, system of counting, and that's all it is, is just figuring it out so that you can switch it back and forth depending on what you have. So if you are playing on a, um, on a lyre that is tuned with a C, then your first one would be C, C would be your one, and C, D, E, F would be your four, C, D, E, F, G would be your five, C, D, E, F, G, A minor would be your, your, your minor six. So, without further ado, the chords, and this works whether you have it tuned to G, tuned to C, or tuned to something else entirely as long as the tuning is the same of the whole note, whole note, half note, whole note, and whole note, which is G, A, B, C, D, E, C, D, E, F, G, A, or many other different combinations. Because there are so many different tunings you can do on your lyre, especially depending on on the length and how, how your manufacturer suggest it. So, that being said, this is your open, your first one is G, and then, remember, G, A, B, C, G, A, B, C, D, G, A, B, C, D, E, minor. So, G, C, D, Put a little bit of a, a strum pattern with that. So I'm just doing one, two, and three, four. 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 to do it on a different note, you could also start with a C. C, D, E, F. So this is my faux F that I do. And I covered the one, three, and the six. And so because I do not have an F on this lyre, then of course I have to make up an F. And so you use the one, the three, and the five on your chords and so we have the three and the five which is the f a c a and c 
and then we use the sixes as well just to make it a little fuller so again that's c f g and then a minor would be your minor six so once you learn these four chords and then there are so many different songs you can play there are a lot of songs that are just uh one one four five So with the C, F, G, C, F, G, C, F, G. And why would you want two different chords that you could start on? It is not, um just to give you a couple of options, which is also nice, but also so you can find what works best with your voice because uh, the first one starts on a G and the second one starts on a C and that is a, almost half an octave in between. And so that gives you a good, a good different uh, range for your voice, depending on what works better for your particular voice. So, again, the C, F, G, A minor, C, F, G, A minor. One more time. C, F, G. So there are a couple of different one four five chord progressions and one four five six minor six chord progressions that you can use. And if you break down a lot of popular music, then you can be able to learn how to play it because a lot of it uses that chord progression. Or in a different some of them use it in a different in a different order. So instead of one Instead of one, four, five, it might be one, five, four. Or it might be one, six minor, five, four. And there's all different um, variations that you can do with it. And so play around and see what you can learn how to play. And I hope that's helpful for you. And if you have not subscribed and liked, be sure to like and subscribe and join us next time for learning more about how to play the lyre. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time.